Welcome to another designer handbag review. Today I want to show you a gorgeous new addition to my collection, the Gucci Dionysus Wallet on Chain. If you're interested in purchasing this bag, then you come to the right place. I'll be dividing this video up into three sections. First, I'm going to show you some mod shots of myself carrying this bag in different ways and pairing it with different outfits so you get to see how it looks with casual and formal outfits. And then I will dive into a little bit more details on why I chose this bag and what my thoughts on this bag are after using it for the past two months. And lastly, I will do a short what fits in this bag section so that you know how big of a capacity it has. become a lot lazier whenever I go out these days all I carry with me is a card holder with some important cards and my cell phone and my trips outside of the house are becoming shorter and shorter because of restrictions and lockdowns during the winter time there's the jacket pockets where I could just stuff these into my pockets and go out but now that it's the warmer season my clothing don't come with pockets that often so it becomes a lot more inconvenient for me I wanted something that was very convenient that could let me hold my cards my cash and my phone so I looked at the wallet on chain options and my eyes landed on the Gucci Dionysus. The other two options I was looking at was the YSL wallet on chain. That one seemed a little bit too formal for me, so I passed on that. Other one was the Louis Vuitton Felici pochette, I believe. I will insert some pictures on the side to show you. There is an insert card slot holder in the bag, which you could take out and put into other bags. I really like that, but I felt like the bag was a little bit too small for my build. I am 5'6", so it would look a little bit too small on me. It didn't seem convenient enough, if you know what I mean. Like for example, this bag, as soon as I open it, it opens up like that. So I could basically reach for anything I need to find within the bag really easily. And whereas for that one, I would kind of have to play Tetris, take out the inserts, find my card, and then put in my inserts again, and then try to um, sort the items within the bag a little bit just so that everything could fit and that wouldn't be the issue in this bag i'm gonna show you a close-up of the bag now that's how it looks it has the tiger heads for closure and it has the gg monogram all over over here is kind of like the accordion style the interior is like this nudie taupe color which i love i saw online that there was another option for the red interior. I'm so glad I got this one instead. Um, inside is also that same leather. If you notice here, I tied a black ribbon just to shorten the chain a little bit because the original chain is quite long even for someone like me who is 5'6". So I have to use a ribbon here so that I can shorten the straps and um, it, will, it won't look too long when I wear a crossbody or on my shoulder. I am honestly very proud of myself for being able to purchase this bag. I remember three years ago when I started working full time, I really wanted to treat myself to my first designer handbag. I gave myself a budget of $1,000, which was already pretty ridiculous compared to a lot of the other bags that I owned before, which were only around like the $100 or $200 mark. With that budget, there weren't too many options. The two that I looked at were the Gucci Super Mini Marmont, which I ended up purchasing, 
And the other one was the Gucci Dionysus, but the super mini version. At that point in time, I had already been eyeing the Gucci Dionysus bags for a very long time because I loved how classy and vintage the bags looked. However, when I went into the physical store to try all both bags, I realized the Dionysus Super Mini was just so small. I could only fit my phone in there and there was no wiggle room for me to put in anything else, which was not practical at all. Whereas the Super Mini Marmont, it allowed me to put in a small card holder and a phone and a lipstick and even my keys. When comparing their practicality, the Super Mini Marmont definitely won. Even though the Dionysus was my top one choice, I ended up going for the Super Mini Marmont. And this time, my financial situation allows me to pay for something that's a little bit pricier. But at the same time, I'm buying something with more practicality that I could use for different occasions, like, as a crossbody or as a shoulder bag or even as a clutch. Had I gotten the super mini Dionysus back then, I think it would be collecting dust in my wardrobe right now because of how impractical it is. This is also a tip for first time designer handbag buyers. Don't settle for something impractical just because it's cheaper. My thoughts on this bag after using it for two months straight is how sturdy this bag is. Looking at this bag, I always thought it might be something that required high maintenance, but in fact, it's the opposite. The coated canvas allows it to be scratch resistant, and it's also color transfer resistant. At least for now, I don't see any color transfer at all. I'm also not afraid of it banging against hard surfaces. I'm also very surprised by how much this bag can fit. The accordion style allows it to stretch pretty widely. I'm gonna take out my stuff and show you. So this is how thick it is when it's not stretched out. And I actually like it a little bit more bulky. In the beginning, I was a little bit scared to stretch it out, but that's what the bag is meant to be. It could be stretched out, no problem. Um, when the bag is flat like this, I was afraid to press it down too hard um, because the inside might fold inwards, causing a crease at the bottom. While I was looking at the colors, I was very tempted to get the solid leather colors that came in red and blue and black um, and white instead of the monogram because I felt like the monogram was a little bit too flashy for me. When I placed the pictures next to each other, those ones seemed a lot more classy and this one seemed tacky. But I still ended up going for the monogram because I feel like the truly classic Dionysus bag should go with the monogram logo. And yeah, I ended up getting this one. After I placed the order with my sales rep and I was waiting for my package to arrive, I kept on checking back to the color options. And the more that I looked at the pictures, the more tacky I felt this bag looked. And I was starting to doubt my choice until I received the package. I rushed upstairs to my room and I started ripping apart the package. And I kid you not how many times I said, wow, 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 to myself. I was so amazed by the quality of this bag. In person, it looks so much classier than in the pictures for some reason. It does. It did not look tacky at all. It has that really vintage and substantial feel to it. There are eight card slots at the back, and there are eight card slots in the front. Um, if you open this up, there's actually another large slot here where you can keep even more cards and receipts and stuff. And then it's divided up into several compartments. There is this one in the front, there's this one and this one. And in here is where I keep all of my change and cash. With only just the cards, 
this bag is lays pretty flat. See the accordion is not stretched anymore. It lays pretty flat. But you know what? I actually prefer stretching it out a little bit so that it looks a little bit more bulky. So I usually take a lipstick with me, which I keep in the front. And then I will have a chapstick, which I also keep in the front. Um, I have my keys, car keys. And the sheep is very dirty right now. Please ignore that. Believe it or not, this bulky little thing can actually fit in here as well. No problem. And I also like to carry my AirPod in my bag. So I keep it all, I keep basically everything in the same compartment because um, I would rather have just one part stretched rather than all of the parts stretched. Then it will look kind of ugly on the outside. When I don't want to carry my phone with me, I could also slide it in here. And that's pretty much all that I carry because like I said, I got this um, I got this bag specifically because I didn't want to carry too much out with me. But it does have the capacity to carry more than what I expected. So uh, I'm using my phone right now, so I can't show you that the phone actually goes in there but i use an iphone 11 and it does fit in there very nicely and yep that's all i carry if you have any questions leave a comment down below and i will try to get back to you very soon i hope you have a wonderful day remember to like comment and subscribe thank you